Hi, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and this is David. Hi. And if you guys haven't seen the vegan, 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 vegan yeah. episode, the review, you need to see it. Just stop right now, go back and watch it because this is watch all it about. Here. here it is. Here's, here's, it'd be really cool to put box. that in there. David made this out of foam core. Okay. Yeah. Am I saying this right? Foam core. Yeah. He foam hot core. wire cut it. Now I've done some hot wire cutting, but you take it to a whole nother level, and I don't know nearly as much as you because whenever I hot wire something, yeah. it has two templates, and you have a bag of them. Yeah, it's actually, crazy. Yeah, you use a lot of templates, and if you don't have this kind of thickness of, uh, of foam core, okay, uh, you can actually go and cut those in half as well. So you have to cut four pieces to make one piece. So but uh, what I did, I made a top and a bottom piece. Okay, and I like, glued those. a really really thick foam. What, what yeah. was the thickness foam you used? This is four inches. Four inches. Uh, I could get away with three inches, but okay. the foam, like the tolerances from the companies, okay. are not that great. Okay. So I went with the four inch. So don't make it exact if you're ordering foam. Yeah, don't, because also when you get it, it might be scuffed, like there might be parts like chewed out. And okay. So it's okay. never good to rely on the thickness. Now, now my bow, I've only ever done wings and not a very good job at that. My bow is like four foot wide. It's oh, yeah? huge. Your bow is little. Yeah, because uh, I want the the flexibility, the, what's that called, the dexterity. Okay. Because since I'm not cutting that big a piece. Yeah, you don't want to be moving around a big Yeah, big and it's, you, you usually don't want to heat too much of the wire okay. unnecessarily either. Okay, and speaking of heating, this is cool. I've never seen this before. Yeah, so this setup is just a PVC pipe. Okay. Um, and then I took hot wire, also called nichrome wire or nichromentol, I think. Okay. But um, what it is, it's just a wire that heats up when you apply current to it through it because it has a lot of resistance. So it doesn't burn up. Exactly. It can handle a lot of heat, but uh, it's like in your toaster oven or in your toaster, I mean, um, there's a wire that glows orange. That's the same thing. That's okay. the exact same wire that we use here. Excellent. So uh, what you can't really do is just apply voltage to it. Really it's going to get really hot okay. and it's going to glow. We we really want that precision. We want a certain amount of heat so we can get a certain amount of speed out of it. So okay. we get the control. Okay. So that's why I'm using a brushed ESC to control the amount of power that goes through and into the wire. Okay. And this is just a servo tester. So what I do is just, this actually sets the temperature then because it's okay. just pulsing out. The and just, just to repeat and stuff, because we talked about it really quick, yeah. brushed ESC, yes, not a brushless. Brush. No, 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 a brushed old one. They're really yeah. hard to find these days. Yes. But if you have one, they're awesome to do stuff like this with. Okay. Pull um, out of your Super Cub LP. Oh, no, that uses a receiver. Can't do that. Yeah, it has so, a built-in. A brushed ESC. If it has yes. three wires, don't use it. It won't work. I'm just using a two-cell here. Now, the thicker the foam you're cutting through, like if you're doing a wing panel, you obviously go slower and use more current. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you always uh, have a certain amount of current passing okay. through this okay. to get the right temperature you want. And you're touching this right now. Why is it not yeah. burning you? No, because it's on zero. Oh, okay. okay. So it's not pumping any current through okay. here. Yeah, don't touch it if it's hot. No, it hurts a lot. Really bad. Yeah. Okay, okay so I can show you here. Um, I'm going to turn that off a bit and I can cut a corner here. Okay. So this is normally around the speed I like to go. Okay. Now, you see your wires bowing. That's a big no-no when you're cutting around templates, yeah. right? Um, so you just go slowly. Okay. So it doesn't actually matter that much if it's bowing, as long as you don't go too fast. As long as you're riding between the two formers. Yeah. Okay. Um, as long as you are aware of it, it's fine. Okay. But yeah, you should definitely never pull on it. It never helps pulling on it. It, it just makes stuff worse. Okay. So take it easy. When it starts bowing, slow down so it has time to catch up to you. Okay. Whenever you have a bow like this and you wait, it's going to store a lot of energy. Okay. So when you touch this to the foam, it's going to cut a lot straight off, but then slow down okay. as it cools down. So never, ever go to the place. Not You shouldn't start right on the template here because it's going to cut more than you think it's going to cut. Okay. So wherever you cut, you always start at some other place and then work outside. Against the yeah. And then you cut in. And now you take a look at both ends here and you make it ride 
on both pieces. Oh, wow. And this is really easy. You just follow the lines. I see. So the bow doesn't really matter because it's riding against those two pieces. It's straight between the two pieces. Yeah. Neat. So it's bowing, but that you just slow down and you wait for it. And you go never, ever stop. That's going to make a line. Cause it so if you're more. going into a crease, make sure that if you hit that crease before this one, that you carry it beyond it. Yes, exactly. Okay. So always have momentum, otherwise the cut is not going to be as nice. So I'm just letting it cut its own. You're making it look effortless. It is pretty easy once you get the, the feel of it. You can see it's still bowing, but yeah. it's not bowing a lot because I'm, the piece I'm cutting is so short as well. The template needs to be stationary, obviously. Okay. And what do you use for that? I just use building needles. Okay, T-pins? Yeah. Cool. Uh, you can use whatever. And I, and I see some hot glue over there. What's the yes, reason behind that? Uh, because it's so thin I can't use uh, building needles. Okay. So instead I hot glued it. And the hot glue is nice because it melts when you get oh, to it. Oh, I see it. that. Yeah. It didn't even go around it. It actually just went right through it. Okay, so let's see if this piece turned wow. out good. That's, that's crazy. That's pretty decent. That's really good. So, okay, now I need to cut this piece off. Okay. So I skipped that. And what I did now is I turned it off. And now you can help me here. I'm okay. gonna. What do you just, want me to do? Um, I'm just gonna wait. Okay, the wire's now cold. Turn that up to 50%. All right. So oh, you I can see. actually start. You can see how it heats up. You see the strings. The whole thing is covered in strings now, but wow! What what you do is you sand that, and it comes off really oh, easy. What do you recommend sanding it with? It's 150 fine. <laughs> you see, this is kind of beat wow. up. Yeah. But it, it's just something to rub it off with. So you see those. All those little hairs. Yeah. yeah. So that's because. And nothing is going to stick to this when you have those hairs. It's going to stick to those hairs instead. Okay. So that's just... Sand the hairs off. Yeah. Make it bald. Yeah. That's before you paint or anything okay. or glue it. Okay. So before you put your T-pins on and everything, you had your flat surface. Yeah. You, you sand it up. Did you draw a center line down? No. In this case, no. Okay. Because I knew where the endpoints are going to be. Okay. But usually, yes, you do mark the center of these. Okay. And then you measure the same amount from the, from the edge of the foam to the center and then the edge of the foam to the center. Okay. So you always have that piece centered up because if this template is off, the whole piece is going to be it's skewed. It's going to go. Yeah. It's okay. going to be kind of awkward. Okay. So it's really important that you have some reference lines to pull off of. Yeah. Here you go. Try that. Very cool. What am I going to try? Uh, cut that middle part first. Oh, wow. Okay. So, okay, I'll turn right, that so, on for you. So, yeah, and I'm not going to start against the edge because that would be bad. I'm going to start. Yeah. So and, start in the middle or okay. whatever. And then work towards, do you push away? Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. As long as you do it. Um, we should be nice ready by now? Slow. Yeah, it's, you can see it's. Uh, All right, here up. we go. You said but, watch both sides. Yeah. That's Don't hit nice. your fingers. Yeah, it hurts pretty bad. You'll know once you, you get there. Yeah, you see now you're pulling. And oh you're yeah, using you said force. don't pull. Yeah, so let it catch up to you. Okay. So a little bowing is fine. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of bowing is just crazy. Yeah, because it's not going to cut any faster just because you pull on it. Yeah. How am I doing? Hey, you're doing good. Okay. Thanks. Good. This is, you should have seen some of my previous wings I tried to cut. Try being, I never got a successful one cut. All right, turn this down. Yep, turn it to zero. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's perfect. That's awesome. And the thing that most people do wrong the first time to do this is use way too much power. Way too much power. Yeah, because you want to go as, as slow as okay. you possibly can and still, like, still do it so to speak you want that really nice slow yeah. cutting because that That's makes amazing. the nice really nice lines and to build these kind of shapes you couldn't do that no with wood you'd have so many formers so many stringers and to try to cover it or sheet it you, oh my goodness yeah this small kind of model yes yeah. yeah it would be it, it's possible but it, it would be so much be work. better now the nice thing about foam is is you can like on your vegan you painted it 
Yeah. But you could also glass it? Yes, you can. You can put fiberglass on it and it turns out really smooth if you're careful because there is no imperfections here. Yeah. It's going to cut. It's going to lay super smooth on this. Wow. So it's a very quick thing to do as well. Yeah. It's very lightweight as well. This is the first time I've ever been exposed to formers. Yeah. Everything I tried with foam cutting was big wings. What okay. tips would you give them for that? Big wings, have two people and have your formers numbered in specific increments. Okay. So you have one, then one inch, two, then one inch. And then you have the both people standing on each end say one when they hit the one and two. So you go the same speed. Oh, okay. So you're that's not working the bow on both sides. You're yeah, because you, you yeah. end up... That's why I always, I always would lift off or I'd pull so hard and then the thing I'd slow down and the thing would kind of sag and yeah. it was terrible. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's that's the tip I can give. You okay. Be two so, people and so two slow. two formers and increments going around. Yeah, it's much easier. And you can dial in your washout and everything, yeah. can't you? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. You Very can do cool. awesome things with this. But uh, like I said, most people run the bow too hot. Okay. And to calculate how much current you need is the ohm resistance of your two points. I, squa I squared times R equals the amount of heat that's going to be radiated from this wire. So it's all about the current and the length of the bow. Okay. So if I have a long bow, you, you need, need more current. You need more voltage to, to achieve push the same amount of current. So because voltage is push. Yes, because you you're going to have the same amount amount of heat. Uh, overall, okay. uh, same amount of temperature on the on the string if you use a twice as long string and then double the voltage. Okay, okay, so that makes sense. Now I know a lot of people are going to want to see plans for this. Are we going to put them up? Um, yeah, this is so simple. This is uh, super simple. I can show you in a diagram of just a couple yeah. of wires. The important thing is make sure your bow does not conduct electricity, right? Yes, it's very important. So use either wood or plastic or not metal, just anything but metal. Well, the vegan was amazing. Now, how many hours do you have in that vegan? You had to put a uh, lot in there. Yeah, it was probably closer to 20 hours. 20 hours. Uh, or so. But for a one-of-a-kind airplane, that's not that bad. No, it's not that bad, considering how well it flies. Yeah. It's, it is awesome. And it's crazy light. Yeah, it you, is. You don't see many, you know, EDFs that, that can perform that way. Yeah. yeah. It's just incredible. The power to weight ratio is great. Yes. That setup, so. Awesome. And also, if you save your formers and take good care of these, Say, yep. God forbid, you break your vegan, or you roll it up into a ball, or you want to build one for your friend. Yeah. You just simply pull out the formers again, and you're good to go. As far as the money goes, I know you've you've gotten your foam in different places. Uh, what yeah. place do you recommend for ordering your foam? Um, I have yet to find a good place to find foam okay. that's reliable. Um, hardware stores, usually, is where you can get, depending on where you live. In If you live in Miami, you're going to have a really hard time finding foam. But if you live up in Alaska, it's really easy to find foam thick foam. There you go, because they need it. Yes. Very so, cool. okay, thank you, Josh. You're welcome. Uh, thank you. thank you guys for sponsoring Flight Test by buying stuff at our store. Yeah, yeah, you guys are keeping us ticking. They're doing a great job, too. Yeah, and uh, by doing that, you allow us to do cool stuff like the vegan and showing you how to do this affordable, really simple stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. And check back regularly on uh, flighttest.com and also our store because there's always new products and also new articles that we'd encourage you to rate as well. Yeah. So thank you. All right. See you next time. Pieces out of the thing.